Yo what's up guys welcome to my humble youtube channel where I bring you fanfiction that will brighten your days. Before we start a subscribe is greatly appreciated and don't forget to leave a like and ring the bell icon so you won't miss exciting new fanfiction stories. Storm of Swords, Female Rimuru x Demon Slayer, by, Kyle Bayan. Chapter 1 The Cruel Darkness Tanjiro Pog It's a snowy day, and I am finishing loading charcoal to two baskets getting ready to leave. Mother. Tanjiro hearing my mother's voice, I turn to look at my mother. Mother. Your face is covered in soot. Come here, let me clean you up. I walked to mother and she wiped my face with a cloth. Mother. You know you two don't have to go, all this snow could be dangerous. Tanjiro. I want us to have a good meal this New Year's celebration, besides even though she is stronger than me, I want to help her. Mother smiled. Mother. How thoughtful of you Tanjiro. By the way, is she finished? Mother. No, not yet she's still making lunch for us. Shigeru. Hey bro. I turned my head and saw Shigeru and Hanako running towards me. Shigeru. Are you going to town again today? Hanako. I'm coming with you. I saw Takeo behind them, holding his hatchet. Rimuru, no way. I heard a voice coming from the house. I turned my head and saw a girl with light blue hair and golden eyes she was wearing a fur scarf and a blue howry with fur decorating the wrists. She walks out of the house. Rimuru. Dot you know you guys can't walk as fast as me or Tanjiro. Tanjiro. Good morning, Rimuru Rimuru. Morning Tanjiro. Shigeru. Ah, come on, mother. No means no besides, they can't use the cart today because of the snow, which means they can't give you a ride when you get tired. They both groaned. Shigeru. Tanjiro Shigeru suddenly hugged me, and Hanako turned to Rimuru. Hanako. I want to come with you, I promise I'll help out. Rimuru pats Hanako's head and smiles. Rimuru. Ah, that's sweet of you, Hanako. Hanako gasped thinking Rimuru will say yes. Rimuru. But no, you two are staying here. Hanako moaned and started pouting. I knelt down and looked at Shigeru in the eyes while patting his head. Tanjiro. Sorry Shigeru you're staying too Rimuru. Don't cry, you too. I promise I'll make something special when we get back. Shigeru turns to face Rimuru with a happy expression. Shigeru. Really, Hanako. Promise, Rimuru smiled, then nodded. Rimuru. Of course Hanako. Okay, I'll stay I stood up and started patting Hanako's head. Tanjiro. Good girl mother, thank you for doing this, you too. Tanjiro. Of course Rimuru. It's no problem, I already finished making lunch and packed some for me and Tanjiro. Tanjiro. Hey, Takeo, do me a favor while I'm gone okay, chop as much wood as you can. Takeo. Yeah, I was gonna do that anyway, though I was hoping we'd do it together, HMPH. He pouted as he said this. Rimuru smirked and walked up to him and started patting his head. Rimuru. Ah, Dos Takeo want big sis Rimuru to tell him a bedtime story? She started teasing him. Takeo. Knock it off, would you? Takeo moved Rimuru's hand as his face turned red from embarrassment. Shigeru. Haha, you're blushing, take, Takeo. Shut up, you brat. I walked up to him as Statred petting him with both my hands. Tanjiro. There, there, now Takeo, will you guys cut it out? We laughed as Takeo groaned, getting embarrassed. I gave Rimuru one of the baskets, and we waved our family goodbye and left. On our way to the village, we were greeted by Nazuko holding a sleeping Rokuda. Nazuko. Hi Tanjiro, hi Rimuru Tanjiro, hey, Nazuko. Rimuru. Hey Nazuko. I had to put Rokuda down for a nap. Otherwise, he'd throw a fit if you were gone Tanjiro. Rimuru. Well, I can't blame him I gently patted Rokuda. Nazuko. Ever since father passed, he's been glued to your side. In fact, everyone seems to follow you and not just you. Nazuko switched her glance from me to Rimuru. Nazuko. Rimuru, too. Rimuru blushed a little and smiled. Rimuru. Well, it seems we know who their favorite big sister. Nazuko pouted a little, then calmed down, knowing Rimuru was just teasing. Nazuko. Well, 
See you later we bid Nazuko farewell and walk down the mountain to sell charcoal, and we may not have an easy life, but we were happy, especially whenever Rimuru was around. I glanced at Rimuru and thought about the first time she came to our home. Flashback six years ago third person Pav summer was at its end when Kai Kamado of the Kamado family went to fetch water from the river. On her way back, she saw a seven-year-old girl with blue hair holding a blue howry and a fur scarf stumbling through the forest and then collapsed. Worried for the child's safety, she dropped her bucket and ran to the child. Kai. H. Hey. What's wrong? The child was too weak to move, so she carried her to the Kamado house and nursed her back to health. She and her husband, Tanjiro Kamado, along with their children, waited for the girl to wake up. They breathed a sigh of relief as the girl woke up after hours of waiting. She sat up and looked around. Tanjiro. Good morning, how are you feeling? He asks with a gentle smile. As the child was about to speak, her stomach growled, causing her to hold her stomach in embarrassment. Kai. Here you must be hungry she says as she placed the food beside the child. The child ate the food as if she hadn't eaten in days. Kai. Are you feeling better now? She asked after the child finished eating. The child nods. Tanjiro. So what's your name? Tanjiro. I'm Tanjiro. Nazuko. I'm Nazuko. All three of them gave a warm smile. Rimuru. I'm Rimuru. Rimuru Rashi Kai. Well Rimuru I'm Kai Kamado, and this here is my husband Tanjiro. She says, pointing at Tanjiro. She looked around, and her eyes grew wide as she started looking around frantically. Rimuru. Wh where is it? Kai. Oh, are you referring to these? Kai brought out the scarf and howry, which Rimuru grabbed, and started crying as she held them tightly. Kai. Hey, that's wrong. The Kamado family started to gather closer, trying to figure out why she's crying. After minutes of crying, Rimuru told them about her past. She told them about how wolves saved her and brought her together with her adopted grandparents and about how they along with the wolves sacrificed themselves to let her escape. Kai and Tanjiro were surprised about the story but still believed it. They decided to take her in as part of their family. Months passed, and Rimuru was living happily with the Kamado family, playing with her new siblings and helping out with chores. End of flashback Rimuru Pav Tanjiro and I were walking down the mountain after saying goodbye to our family. I noticed Tanjiro staring at me. Rimuru. Hey Tanjiro, what's wrong? You've been staring at me for a while. I glanced at him. He shook his head. Tanjiro. Oh, it's nothing just reminiscing about when you came to the family. He then looked ahead. Rimuru. If you say so we sold all the charcoal and helped a lot of the people in town until dusk. Rimuru. Man, what a day, I'm glad all that's over. I stretched my arms in the air as cold wind blows. Tanjiro. How did it get so late? I put both of my hands behind my head. Rimuru. Docent matter we sold a lot of charcoal, we could probably have a feast this new year. Tanjiro nods. Tanjiro. I guess you're right? Hang on, Tanjiro, Rimuru. A man called us. Tanjiro. Huh? Rimuru. E.H. We turned around and saw Mr. Saburo. Saburo. You two aren't going back up the mountain now it's too dangerous. Rimuru. Don't worry, we'll be fine I say in a cheerful tone. Tanjiro. I've got a good nose Rimuru. Yeah Mr. Doggy here can guide us back safely. I playfully rubbed Tanjiro's head while giving a smile. Tanjiro. Haha, please stop calling me that Rimuru. Saburo. Well, it's still dangerous. You both can stay here for the night, come on get inside. Tanjiro. No, we really, Saburo. Don't argue just get in here, before demons show up. Rage swelled within me upon the word demon. Tanjiro noticed my anger and realized why I'm upset. He placed his hand on my shoulder. Tanjiro. Why don't we rest we've done a lot today. Tanjiro gave me a warm smile which calmed me down and let out a sigh. Rimuru. All right you win after Mr. Saburo lets us stay for the night I offered to make dinner which he accepted as he placed two futons for me and Tanjiro to sleep on later. After we finished dinner we went to bed, and as I was about to sleep Tanjiro asked me a question. Tanjiro. Hey Rimuru these demons they're not able to enter people's houses, could they? 
Rimuru. Yes, they can Tanjiro, but then wouldn't they just eat everyone? Saburo. The demon slayers protects people by killing as many demons as they can, they always have. Mr. Saburo adds, smoking before he turns out the light. Rimuru. Staying inside houses would at least make sure that demons would be less likely to smell you if they're wandering around. Saburo. That's bout right, no get some sleep it's late. After the lights went out we went to sleep. The next morning after I woke up early as the sun rises. Saburo. You're already awake he smoked using his pipe. I changed into my usual blue howry and wolf fur scarf and offered Mr. Saburo to make him breakfast as thanks for letting us stay. As I'm preparing a meal for Mr. Saburo Tanjiro woke up. Tanjiro. Good morning Rimuru I turned to face Tanjiro then returned my focus on cooking. Rimuru. Morning Tanjiro Tanjiro. Why are you cooking Rimuru? Rimuru. Well he thought I'd make something for Mr. Saburo as that KS for letting us stay for the night, why don't you go on ahead I'll catch up later. Tanjiro. I should help too Rimuru, it's fine I'll see you back home. Tanjiro. All right then you better come back quickly, I'm sure the others miss you cooking already. Rimuru. Don't worry I will Tanjiro grabbed his basket and leave bidding Mr. Saburo goodbye. After I finished I headed out. Rimuru. Goodbye Mr. Saburo and thanks again for letting Tanjiro and I stay. I bowed then hurried off. Saburo, don't mention it and take care. I hurried home so I could make breakfast for everyone I tried listened closely for the loud voices of the excited voices of Shigeru and Hanako but couldn't hear anything. As I got closer I had a feeling that something was wrong, as I hurried back I noticed a faint and familiar smell and I ran as fast as I could but didn't see Tanjiro. Rimuru. My nose may not be as good as Tanjiro's so he must have smelled something wrong and ran. As I reached home I saw Rokuda lying on the ground surrounded by blood and the door was open. Rimuru. Rokuda. I ran to check if he's alright and once I got close enough I realized he's dead. I took a look in the house and saw something horrible. Mother, Takeo, Shigeru, and Hanako all dead and in a pool of their own blood. My knees gave away and I dropped to the ground and cried as tears flowed out of my eyes. Rimuru. No, this isnt happening, this is a nightmare. I kept crying eventually my sorrow turned to rage as my hands formed into fists. Rimuru. Those demons are gonna pay. I realized Tanjiro and Nezuko weren't here, I quickly looked around and saw a trail in the snow going to another path down the mountain. Rimuru. Nezuko must still be alive and Tanjiro's probably carrying her to find a doctor. I grabbed an axe and quickly followed it. As snow starts to fall I quickly used the total concentration breathing I learned from grandpa and ran faster. As I'm running I heard what sounds like Nezuko is snarling at something, so I ran in that direction. As I got closer I saw Tanjiro and Nezuko unconscious on the ground and a man wearing a mismatched howry and a sword on his side. I quickly leapt from tree to tree then towards the man and prepared my axe. Rimuru. What are you doing to Tanjiro and Nezuko? Rimuru. Wind breathing second form, claws purifying wind. I swing my hatchet but the stranger blocked it with his sword. Wait, was that? Rimuru. This guy knows how to use a sword. I land and quickly used another move. Rimuru, sixth form, black wind mountain mist. I swing my hatchet but the man evaded my attack. This girl used total concentration breathing and the techniques she used is wind breathing, who is she? As I was about to do another attack, he suddenly disappeared. I then noticed that he is right behind me and holding my arms behind me. Rimuru. H hey let go, I say as I'm struggling to break free from his grip. Hold on I've got questions to ask you Rimuru, I don't care, let me go you pervert. I felt his grip loosen for a moment, this is going nowhere. His grip got tighter causing me to drop my hatchet. He then threw me to the ground and placed his foot on my stomach and pointed his sword at me. Calmed down ill explain what's going on then I have questions for you. I glared at him as he began explaining what happened. After he's finished explaining he puts his sword away and removed his foot me and left. I stared at Nezuko for a while surprised that she became a demon and that another demon killed the others. The man returned with a bamboo muzzle which he placed on Nezuko's mouth then leaned against a tree and looked at me. Now who are you and how do you know wind breathing? 
I gave a sigh then told him about my past. I guess that explains how you know how to use breathing techniques, I have heard rumors that a certain mountain was littered with the corpses of wolves. Many assumed those wolves fought a stong demon but thought it was fake as both demons and animals hardly have a reason to even fight each other. Suddenly Tanjiro woke up and grabbed Nezuko and started crying. I rushed to Tanjiro and Nezuko. Rimuru, Tanjiro you okay? Tanjiro nods. Good you're awake Tanjiro saw the swordsman and quickly held Nezuko tightly. Giyu. Get to Mount Sagiri as soon as possible. Look for an old man named Sakanji Yurokodaki and tell him Giyu Tomioka sent you. Giyu suddenly vanished, I quickly looked around to see where he went. Rimuru. Tanjiro we should go back and give the others a proper goodbye. The moment I said the word goodbye tears tasted flowing from my eyes again. Tanjiro noticed me crying and got up still holding Nezuko in one arm while giving me a hug using his other. Rimuru. Thank you Tanjiro I hugged him and Nezuko while still crying. After a while we head back and gave the others a proper burial then pray for their safe rebirth. Rimuru. Tanjiro let's go Tanjiro. Yeah we packed our stuff and head down the mountain to look for someone named Yuroko 